Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you all the best cream blushes ever. Now, as a disclaimer, this is obviously just my opinion. You might have different preferences, and of course, people create these sort of videos and they list different products as well, but these are just the best cream blushes that I have tried in my opinion, and I have tried so many cream blushes, and especially because my channel is mostly based on luxury beauty, I have tried cream blushes from like Clay de Peau, Victoria Beckham, Pierre Weiss, trying to think of some more hourglass. Um, I have tried some more high-end blushes, but surprisingly, a lot of my favorite cream blushes actually come, they're not like drugstore prices, but they are more that like mid-range. I want to say like, they're like high-end versus like actual luxury beauty. And I, I'm kind of a newcomer to cream blushes because in the past, they weren't absolutely my favorite just because I find cream blushes harder to recommend to people because they can be a little bit more finicky. I don't recommend cream blushes if you are an absolute beginner in makeup because they just are harder to work with. But with practice, of course, it is easy to use. And they, these aren't exactly like really difficult products to work with. I just think if you are a very beginner coming into makeup that you will struggle a little bit with liquid and cream blushes. But I did want to create a video because I have found just my absolute favorite blushes that I would recommend to absolutely everyone. And I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And cream blushes are a product I kind of struggled with in the past as well. As someone with very, very sensitive skin, cream blushes, if you are someone with sensitive skin, you know, they can cause quite the reaction just because a lot of cream blushes uses oils or essential oils or sometimes even fragrances. So as someone with sensitive skin, I can react to those, but these are all products that have worked really well for my skin. So I'm just going to get straight into it. These are the best cream blushes ever. So I'm going to start off with something that is actually relatively new to me that I picked up. I had like a 20% off code. Um, I think it was the friends and family event. So I decided to pick up this product then, and this is the Patrick Ta. Wow, it's very hard to see in this lighting. Double Take Cream Powder Blush. So in the shade She's Flushed. This is a duo and it comes with a cream and a powder. The packaging is not my favorite because it can't, I don't know, it's kind of awkward to open. But besides that, it is quite hefty, like it does feel luxurious. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this powder, but we're just talk talking strictly creams here, so it doesn't really matter too much. This is a fine powder, it's just, I don't know, there's nothing like spectacular about it, even though it, it does top off this cream blush nicely, but besides the point. So we have a little flap that will make sure that you're not getting any of that powder product into this cream, which I think is essential. But I did want to mention this because I think this cream blush is actually pretty outstanding. It is such a beautiful formula. It is quite emollient when you feel it. And it does feel like that it's gonna be one of those cream blushes that are really tacky. You know what this formula reminds me of? The Tower 28 blushes, except I really dislike the Tower 28 cream blushes because they don't set down. And I feel like they're sticky and your hair gets stuck in them. And it's just not a great formula in my opinion. But this one really reminds me, you get that same ease of application that the Tower 28 blushes give you, except this does eventually dry down on the skin. So you're not gonna get any of that tackiness or that stickiness on your skin. And there's a beautiful, it's like a sheerness to this product. It is definitely buildable and it is definitely pigmented. But when you apply it to the cheeks, it's very easy to apply. It's not overwhelming. It's not hard to apply because there is a bit of a like translucency to it, even though you do get pigment. I think it just shears out very beautifully. Um, so I have just been really, really loving this blush. And I think this color, She's Flush, is the perfect name because what it does is it gives my cheeks the perfect flush of color. This looks like I've been out in the cold or taking a walk or, you know, it's just one of those really healthy glow blushes that is absolutely beautiful. And I do have to say that the powder and cream together, they just really make my complexion like very enhanced. It's one of those skin enhancing blushes. And I'll probably say that about all these blushes because I feel like they're all kind of skin enhancing. What a beautiful cream blush formula. So I definitely recommend this product. I wouldn't recommend picking it up full price though because like I said, this is a duo and I'm not a huge, huge fan of the powder product. So pick it up while Sephora is having a 20% off sale. That would be my recommendation. And then I have to mention, the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Blush. Now this is funny because when I initially reviewed this product, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, and I, I still remain by my review 
when I say this is a finicky product to work with and you are going to, I wouldn't use this on an everyday basis because it kind of takes a while to blend into your skin because this is ultra, ultra pigmented. Now, Chanel released a lot of different shades and this shade is the shade Intense Coral. If you're going for one of the lighter shades, I think it's the pink and light peach, light pink and light peach, I believe are the other names. Those ones are very, very sheer, so they're gonna be a little bit easier to work with. But if you have medium skin tone or deeper, they're not gonna show up on you. So I found that this shade was, I guess, the best for my skin tone. You only need the tiniest, tiniest bit of product. And I find the best way to apply this Water Fresh Blush is to actually blend it a little bit into my skin first and then pick it up with a brush and apply it onto the cheeks. This is a water-based product, so the other kind of downfall to this is that you have to be careful with other products that are you are using it with. You cannot use this with an oil-based foundation because it will break apart the foundation underneath. So you do need to be mindful that you're using this with a like product, like another water-based foundation, and then it works absolutely beautifully. And this is just the most no makeup makeup blush. So if you actually want your cheeks to just look flushed without it looking like you were wearing makeup, this is the product for you because the Water Fresh products, if you're not aware of the Water Fresh line from Chanel, they really just do melt into the skin and they give your skin like a veil of color or coverage depending on what type of product you're using without it looking like makeup. It just offers this very sheer tint of color and coverage, again, if you're using one of the complexion products. But this color, I think, is just so beautiful. Again, it's one of those skin enhancing colors. It brightens up my complexion. It makes it look really nice and youthful and fresh. And it's just such a gorgeous formula because while it is really liquidy and watery when you first apply it, once you blend it onto the skin, it does dry down completely. So this is one of my most longest wearing blushes. If I was out in the heat and humidity, this is would be my humidity proof cream blush. Um, I guess it's more of a liquid blush, but it really does, once you apply it onto the skin, it sets down and it is not going anywhere. If you want the most long wearing cream blush formula, I would recommend something like this because it has that, it's almost like a watercolor, so it just really adheres to your skin and kind of sticks to your skin and melts right in. Therefore, you're not gonna have any of that transfer, you're not gonna have any movement throughout the day, it's not gonna fade away awkwardly. This is going to remain this color all day long and it just gives the most beautiful flush and I absolutely love it. But again, I would not recommend this product if you are a beginner or if you just want your makeup done in a flash. Like, no, you kind of have to work with this product. Now, I do mention the pros and cons of these products because I feel like in a lot of favorites videos, people are only mentioning the good, but I think it is important to mention that none of these products are perfect products and there are some downfalls. So I really try in my favorites videos to mention those pros and cons so that you're aware that if you have that sort of issue, then this is a product to stay away from. So again, I try and be very mindful of that. The next product I'm going to move on to is something that I never really hear anyone talk about, but and I don't even know why I decided to pick this up. I forget which creator I heard talking about it, but this is the Kulfi Pinky Promise, that's the shade, Mendy Moment Blush. So the shade again is called Pinky Promise. It comes in this tube. It's very cheap packaging. It does not feel luxurious at all. This is one of the, the most, like, I guess, mid-range price points. This isn't a luxury brand at all, but I feel like this is a luxury product. It is such a good formula. This is a cream blush that I would recommend to beginners. It is a little bit pigmented, but I feel like this distribution and how it applies onto the skin would make it more beginner-friendly. So, I wish they would release more shades because I don't feel like the shades, I don't know, I just don't feel like there's that many. Maybe they will release a few more. This is a beautiful, it's like a pinky coral shade. Again, it's one of those really youthful brightening shades. I feel like this is the perfect spring or summertime shade. There is like an ever, ever, ever so soft sheen to it, but there are no shimmer particles. If you don't know, I don't enjoy shimmer particles in my products because I do not like when you go out in the light and you can see those li little shimmers on your skin. That just is not my vibe. So this again, it gives like a soft, subtle sheen, but it's very skin-like. And just the youthfulness of this product is so beautiful as well. And it is one of those products that does dry down on the skin, so you're not gonna get any transfer. It's not going to be creasy. It's not going to move throughout the day. It's not gonna fade away. I don't know, sometimes I feel like by 3 p.m. my blush has gone off my face. This is, again, one of those products that really sticks onto your skin. 
So if you are someone that struggled with the Chanel Waterfresh tint because it was just a little bit too finicky for you, I would recommend this cream blush because I would, I'd, I'd say the dry down and the longevity of this blush is very, very similar to that product, but it's much easier to use. And it's just such a beautiful, youthful shade. Gorgeous. And I feel like more people need to talk about this because this is very underrated. And like I said, it does set down, but you do have time to work with it before it sets down to the skin. I probably still would just work, I kind of go back and forth on the cheeks. Um, and I find that works really well. So just be mindful. It does eventually set down, but I think you still do have time to play with it. Like it doesn't set down instantly or anything like that. Um, just a very easy to work with product and absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to talk about the underrated products first. So this is another product that I feel like is really underrated that no one really talks about. And this is from the brand LYS Beauty and it's called the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Humble. I don't really see how satin this is. I would say this is more matte, but I really like this formula because it's almost this like stiff cream blush. Um, it's almost like waxy feeling, which is really interesting, but you get a decent amount of pigmentation if you do build it up on the skin. But I really like this one because it's extremely easy to work with. I feel like if you are a beginner, again, coming into the cream blush formulas, this is a product that I would recommend to you because it's so easily buildable on the skin and it does have that dry down on the skin as well. It doesn't dry down as much as the Chanel Water Fresh Tint or the Culfi blush. But it does dry down to a beautiful finish where it's not going to move, it's not going to crease, it's not going to settle, it's not going to, you're not going to get hair transfer into it or anything. And it's just a really easy to work with formula. This is another formula I think would be great for beginners because it is buildable and it's a very lightweight blush as well. It does have a little bit of slip to it, but it's not so much that it's so emollient and it's going to get away from you. And it doesn't dry down completely, like I said. So I do feel like this is very beginner friendly. And I find the longevity of this blush to be really great as well. It wears all day long with on me and I have no issues. And I think this is just a really nice, it's like a perfect pink shade. It's not too cool tone, it's not too warm tone. I'd say it's more on the warm tone pink side, but I think it's just a very flattering color that you could kind of use all year round. Maybe this would be more of a spring or summer color, but I absolutely love this formula. Now we're reaching the category where these are like, I want to say they're kind of like holy grail cream blushes and I will go again over the pros and cons of these products. So first I'm going to start with probably the most like well-known cream blush on the market and I definitely thought this was a gimmick at first so I held off trying it just because I'm someone when everyone's raving about a product I kind of am like were you just paid to talk about it or were you sent these products for free? I'm someone that is very I don't know, maybe judgmental of people that get like incentivized products because it's really hard to believe if those are true reviews. But anyways, besides the point, this is the Rare Beauty uh, blush. I forget what these are called, I'll look it up. It's the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. Obviously, most of these, I am talking about the colors that I picked up, but I recommend the formula versus picking a shade. I would say just any shade that you like. But I really, really, really enjoy this formula. However, this is not beginner friendly at all. If you're a beginner, do not, absolutely do not purchase this because this is a tricky formula if you are new to makeup. And it's just because this is ultra, ultra pigmented. But I kind of like that about this product because it means you only need a very, very, very small amount of product. Like this, when I apply to the back of my hand, would be too much product for both of my cheeks. But because you need such little product, that can either be a good or a bad thing because obviously if you apply too much on the skin, it will look a little bit heavy on the skin and it won't look as great. Like look at that pigmentation. But if you apply the right amount of product and just a little bit on your skin, because you're applying such a light amount of product, it will look very natural on the skin. And I really like this formula because it almost feels emollient when you are applying it. Like it gives you enough time to work with. It doesn't dry down straight away. It is easy to blend if you go in again with a light amount of product, but it does eventually set down onto the skin and it sets down to this like budge proof finish, which is just really nice that we're having these cream formulations that are actually drying down on the skin and are longer wearing. My issue with cream blushes a lot of the time was that they were so emollient that they just eventually either faded away on the skin or they just removed the products that you've applied underneath. Like they would remove foundation like halfway through the day. 
and I just really didn't like that. Maybe because there were more waxier formulas. But this one, no. Your base will remain intact all day. This blush will remain intact on all day. No issues with longevity. So a little bit goes a long way. And this has a really nice slip to it. So it almost feels like a serum when you're applying it, like a serum blush. It does feel, it has that really nice kind of velvety texture that does have a lot of slip to it but again it does dry down so i really recommend just being very mindful when you apply this product i do not recommend just going in on your cheeks like i see some people apply this directly on your cheeks no don't do that so what i recommend with this sort of formula and any of these really pigmented blushes is you just apply a little bit to the palm of your hand and then go in with a brush okay i'm just taking this brush but basically apply a little bit to the palm of your hand and then go in with your brush and really distribute that pigment into your brush or onto your brush evenly so that all the pigment is distributed evenly on your bristles. Therefore, you won't go in with too much product on one area because sometimes if you just apply it to your cheeks you, and you blend it out, it will just be really ultra pigmented in one area and it will get away from you. But therefore, all the product is distributed evenly on this brush. You can even get the excess off with like a paper towel and then blend it onto your skin going back and forth. That is the best way I've found to apply these sort of liquid blushes that are ultra pigmented. Um, but really just a great formula and I'm kind of upset I didn't try this out sooner. I would say the next three are like my top three, but this is definitely something I'm hesitant to recommend. This is the Clay de Poe Cream Blush. This is the shade three. Now I only have one shade. I wish I could pick up more, but these are actually not available to purchase in Canada. For some reason, Clay de Poe doesn't have this formula available in Canada and it's not available in any of our Canadian retailers either. You can only purchase this in the United States. We have the cream eyeshadows available, but you can't purchase the cream eyeshadows in the US, which is very interesting. I do think this formula is just phenomenal, but it is so pricey for what you get. But I just think this is one of the best cream blushes if you are a beginner, if you do struggle with sensitive skin or acne prone skin, and you do just prefer buying those luxury products. This is gorgeous. This has a beautiful sheerness to it. So it's not as pigmented as a lot of the other blushes that I recommended. And there's like an ever so slight satin effect about it. Again, there are no shimmer particles, but it does just offer this very beautiful skin like appearance to it. And I don't know if you can tell but that sheerness is just really nice because it does look like skin on your skin and I think because it has that satin finish it really looks skin like as well I really wish I could pick this up in another color I think I have a shade called like perfect peach which I really want but I just can't buy it so maybe if I'm in the US at some point I'll just have to pick it up at like a clay to post stand but this formula is very beautiful because again it's one of those formulas where it has a nice slip to it but it's not too emollient where it's going to remain tacky on the skin. You have ample time to apply this sort of product, but this product does dry down on the skin. So it's not going to move. It's not going to take away product underneath. So I do feel like this is a really standout actual luxury beauty cream blush. If you were looking for something specifically that's luxury beauty and this formula is really phenomenal, I have to say. But I'm also hesitant to recommend it because it is so pricey for what it is. And obviously I've recommended some other great formulas here. So don't feel the need to purchase like absolutely every single one of these cream blushes. These are just my favorite cream blushes. And then my next contender is something that is relatively new to me as well. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. Um, so it says it's an easy liquid blush. And I would pretty much agree with this. So in this, in the other formulas I was saying like, I'm not specifically recommending a shade, I'm just re recommending a formula. In this, I'm specifically recommending this shade. I don't think the other shades look that appealing to me. So I would suggest the Pillow Talk shade specifically. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cream slash liquid blushes I've ever tried because I feel like it's very similar to this Rare Beauty blush, except it's less pigmented and you have a little bit more time to work with, but they're very, very similar. I I kind of struggle to see a huge difference, except that the pigment in the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit less. So I kind of recommend the Charlotte Tilbury if you're more of a beginner, because it's just a little bit easier to work with. I don't love this application of this product, but the formula is really beautiful. So that kind of, I don't know, I'll put up with this sort of application. So you do have to, 
there's like an on and off kind of switch and you have to turn it on and then you just squeeze out a little bit of product always make sure to switch it off before you do up the cap otherwise you'll just have product everywhere and when you blend it onto the skin this product is like the perfect fall blush it is a beautiful mauvey pink shade that just really again enhances your complexion and makes your complexion look really fresh and natural and there is some youthfulness to it it has a really great slip to it but it's not too emollient it has that dry down effect so you do get time to blend it onto the skin before it dries down it's not going to dry down right away i like to just work back and forth cheek to cheek and it works really great I absolutely love this color, love this formula, love that there is like a slight sheerness to it. I honestly just love everything about this blush. I love that it's a little easier to work with than those Rare Beauty blushes. I love the dry down of this. I love this matte formula. I don't think it's like completely matte where it's going to look drying on your skin. There is something very youthful about this formula, probably because it is more of a liquid formula that does have that skin-like effect, but just... An absolutely beautiful product. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury really nailed this one. I don't like the ones with the shimmer in it. I don't think those ones are flattering on the skin, but this one is fantastic, specifically in this shade. And the last cream blush formula I have to recommend is probably what I would say is like my holy grail blush. These are my favorite, the best of the bunch. And it's kind of unfortunate because this brand is something that you can't get in Canada. Like we don't have any retailers available. So I have to pay like $35 in shipping. So it ends up being like a luxury price point for me to purchase these products. But they're so good that I just purchased them anyways, which kind of annoying, but whatever it is what it is. But these are the Persona Blush Multi Sticks. I have two shades in the shade Bubble and Bloom. And of course they just released new shades. So now I want to pick up more. But Bubble is just a really great cool tone pink blush, kind of that really popular shade that's being released by every brand right now. And Bloom is my absolute favorite shade that she has released. This is the perfect peachy pink, but I love this formula. Now again, I don't apply this directly onto the cheeks. I go in with a brush like this, or I apply it onto my hand and then get it on the brush. It's gonna be way easier if you are applying your products that way versus drying them on your face. I just don't do that with your products. You're gonna create a mess and it's gonna be way harder to blend. It's just way easier to apply it on the brush. But besides the point, this formula is so, so amazing. There is like an emollient to it, but again, it's not an emollient blush. It does have a dry down to it and it's, it's so beautiful. There's a slight sheen to it. Again, it's not any shimmer particles, no detectable shimmer particles on the skin, but it gives you this beautiful glow. It's this beautiful skin-like glow. It looks like you're flush from within. I think this color is just absolutely beautiful, and I think it would work on so many skin tones as well. This formula is, I, I don't know why I like it so much more than the other ones. Maybe because there is more of a slip to it than the other ones. And this one, I would say, takes longer to dry down than those liquid blushes. So maybe it's just because this one's a little bit easier to work with because you have really ample time to work with. I would say it takes about 10 minutes for it to really dry down on the skin. I would also say that these ones don't last. Like, these ones aren't, like, 12-hour long wear blushes like the Charlotte Tilbury or the Rare Beauty or even the Colfi, I would say, is more longer wearing. This one probably wears 6 to 8 hours, not ultra-long wearing. But it's enough for me for all day, and sometimes I like to go over top with a powder product, which will just really make sure that this wear is longer. So again, not the most long wearing blush, but I think that it does wear all day long. If you're, say, going to work or you're going to an event or something, you're not going to have problems with it fading away. But there's just something very spectacular about this formula. Um, I have really nothing bad to say about this, except that I wish the shipping was cheaper to Canada. But this is really beautiful. Highly recommend this formula if you haven't tried it out yet. But those are all my absolute favorite cream blushes. These are the best of the bunch in my opinion. I would obviously love to hear from you guys. What are your favorite cream slash liquid blush formulations? If I haven't tried them out, I would absolutely love to try your recommendations as well because I've tried out so many of your recommendations and you guys really know what you're talking about. So I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it, and I'll see you in my next video.